Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. This is Indigo from Indigo Goddess 1111 bringing you your September 2018 channeled messages from spirit. So um, this is, will not resonate with everybody because obviously I'm dealing with um, a lot of people. So if it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it. Don't try to um, make it fit your situation. Just take what fits and leave what don't. So um, Leos, you guys, um, in the month of September, you guys have a lot of things changing um, for the better. This is due to um, seeds that you've been planting along uh, the way. Uh, huge things were changing for you guys in August. Um, they're going to continue to shift into September, and you're going to start seeing results. Uh, the number I keep seeing for you guys is number nine. So this is telling me that... Um, that it's time to let things go. Feelings are like visitors. They're meant to come and go. Let them release. Let them uh, let them be acknowledged and then released. Um, there's really just an overall balance for all of you guys uh, coming for you. Things are starting to unfold, especially if you were secretly wishing for something. Those are coming to fruition. Um, like I said, there's a lot of changes from forming for you guys. Uh, August was stressful. It was busy. It was hectic. And now September, things are going to start quieting down a little bit and, um, and benefits and blessings and everything's just going to start flowing in, especially your guys' finances. September looks amazing for money. Uh, yeah, there's an unexpected windfall of money coming towards you. Um, prosperity is going to find you. There's a shift in energy into what you love and value. And they are both just popping in the month of September. In the last couple of years, you guys have really um, had a change in your outlook in life, your outlook in love. Um, relationships have been changing. And now we're finally getting into an energy of settling down. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with a heartache from the past, um, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. Um, really, uh, you're really digging deep and trying to heal these wounds that, uh, that you've been kind of burying for a long time now. You're going to get help from your angels in healing. It's going to, it's going to be refreshing for you. It's going to be like a weight off your shoulders to finally be able to go through a day without thinking about them or having to deal with them. Uh, and this is coming to you in the beginning of September. For some of you, um, you're being encouraged to be true to you, be authentic, be yourself, um, honor your truth, honor your path, because people are trying to change you in some way, trying to change your thinking, your, the way you act, whatever it be. Um, just stay true to you. Um, for some of you, you have a new job coming in. This is, uh, this is really going to allow you to use your creative side. Your creative spark is just on fire. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a very lucrative job too. You're going to make very good money. Some of you could be getting raises also um, in the current job that you already have, but a lot of new jobs coming for you guys who are out there looking. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, if you guys are trying to manifest things, be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Your words have power. So um, so make sure when you are uh, setting your intentions, you, you spell it out, every detail. Um, yeah. Um, just like a quick example, I'm being shown. Um, like you're struggling financially. Somebody 
wished for to get a large sum of money to help with their burden of finances, to help with their debt. The next day, they're in a car accident, become paralyzed from the waist down. They got a huge settlement in insurance money, but at the cost of losing uh, the ability to walk. So that's just uh, an example that's being shown to me. That's not, I'm not saying that's going to happen to you guys. But what I'm saying is when you're setting your intentions, when you're asking your angels for help and praying, you know, make sure you always end your, um, your requests to manifest, uh, that all blessings you receive do not come at the cost of anybody getting hurt or, um, or losing somebody in your life, you know, something along those lines, uh, make sure you spell it out, you know, please let me get, take care of my debt by receiving a raise at work or something, you know, just make sure you are putting in there that you don't want anybody hurt or, <clears throat> or harmed in any way. Just something along those lines. Um, cause you guys are instantly manifesting. So, um, yeah, just be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Uh, there's somebody that's going to come into your life who you are just magnetically drawn to you. They are sexy. They are confident. They got a good job. They, you know, they are just, they look fantastic. Make sure they are not already in a commitment. Um, I see third parties starting um, a love triangle and you don't want to be a part of that. For some of you, I see you have like some sort of gift. Um, these are gifts, talents, whatever, um, of all sorts. But you're hiding it from your family. You're hiding it from your friends because you fear uh, being judged. You fear you're, pro you're trying to protect yourself from the judgment of others. That goes back to be true to you. Be authentic. Um, some of you feel like you're stuck in a situation and it's time to free yourself. It's time to time to, um, follow whatever path your heart is feeling like you should go. Um, for some of you, you're just emotionally exhausted. Um, you kind of feel like you're in autopilot. Yeah. You're like battling between this decision, whether to stay and try harder or to walk away. And if you're constantly having that internal battle, um, spirit is saying it's time to free yourself. It's time to move forward. Um, ask for help if you need. Um, for some of you, you have conflicting thoughts um, about something that's going to happen. Um, you're fearful, yet you're excited. You... Um, you want it to hurry up and get here, but you're fearful of it getting here. Something along those lines. Um, it's all going to be okay. There's nothing to fear. It's going to be an exciting new adventure for you. This is something that is meant to happen for you. And it's going to come out um, with, it's going to come out uh, with good results. Some of you are fearing rejection. Um, this is in love. Um, you feel like you're not good enough for this person. And that is so untrue. You are, you are a perfect fit for this person. You guys are going to make each other very happy. This is a life partner um, that's come, come into your life to show you what real love is, true love is. And they're going to make you very happy. So don't be fearful of it. For some of you, there's something, um, there's something that you need to tell somebody. Uh, if you don't get it off your chest, you'll never be able to breathe. So make sure you come forward and tell this person whatever it is that you've been keeping held back, whether it be that you're no longer happy in this relationship, whether it be something that happened that you hid from them, just whatever it is, um, it's time to get it off your chest. It's time to, to come forward and be honest with uh, whatever you're hiding. 
Yeah, there's a great turning point in finances for you guys this month, uh, especially if you've been financially struggling for the last six months. Um, something's coming in for you, something that's meant to be, uh, this is your blessing. This is what you've been waiting for. Um, it's coming in the month of September. Some of you are opening your eyes to a situation to what's going on. It's been going on right in front of your face, but you've been um, intentionally ignoring it um, out of fear, out of fear of being hurt. Um, once you open your eyes and accept what it is and move on, you guys are going to have a beautiful connection come in for you by the end of September. Um, yeah. It's just amazingly beautiful. It's time to let go. It's time to allow this uh, cycle to end, allow this divorce to go through, allow this breakup, whatever it is that you've been um, trying to avoid, it's time to accept it and move on. Um, and you're going to be so much happier. You're going to feel so much lighter, so much more blessings you're going to recognize, uh, even the little things like how beautiful the sun is shining or, you know, how green the grass actually is like what a beautiful, vibrant color. It's just those little things you're going to start noticing in life. Cause, uh, up to this point, you guys have had your blinders on just trying to not notice anything, um, out of fear that you'll see something you don't want to. For some of you, you're resisting who you are, who you are, um, who you're meant to be. You're trying to be someone else for everybody. You're trying to fit the mold, um, per se out of fear, out of fear of being judged or, or ridiculed or something along those lines. Uh, don't let anyone make you think that you have to hide who you truly are. For some people, you're moving into um, different careers. I see for this group of you, you went to school for something, and now you're just totally switching it over, going into some something with like counseling or like life coaching or a therapist of some sort. This is what you're being called to do. This is your life purpose. So um, I know you're feeling anxious. You're feeling like, is this the right choice? Should I have done this? Yes, most definitely. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody in your space that is trying to make you feel like you're crazy um, for wanting what you deserve, for um, for going after your dreams. Don't let anybody hold you back. Some of you are letting go of people that no longer serve your greatest good, but you're really fearful. Um, not of the letting go part, but of the starting over part. You're scared of what uh, is coming for you because it's unknown. But just trust trust in the divine. Trust in your journey. And uh, I promise you, it's going to bring you good things. Um. Some of you, you want to hold on, but you want to let go. You you have contradictory, contradictory feelings. Um, and the choice, choice comes down to, are you going to step forward into growth? Or are you going to stay stuck in safety? Um, we never, we never get what we truly deserve if we stay in a place of safety. Um, you, you don't know what is out there for you unless you take that step forward, unless you, um, make the conscious choice that you're going to continue to grow as a person, as a soul, as a human being. Um, and that's when your blessings will truly come in for you. For some of you, there's somebody in your space that's just really, they're very, I don't even know how to say it. <clears throat> they're tr very controlling. They try to tell you what to think, how to feel. Don't let other people decide who you are. 
Um, this person is very demanding, very, I don't want to say narcissistic. I hate that word, but they almost think that the world revolves around them and everybody in their space should be exactly who they want them to be. Um, you're going to break free from this person in September and it's going to um, just mentally free you in so many different ways. Um, but you are getting the strength to do that in September. For some of you, you are dealing with karma. You're dealing with karmic relationships. Um, yeah, it's make sure you're learning your lesson or the cycle continues. Um, for a group of you, you're at odds with somebody in your family. You are going to, you are going to walk away. You're seeing through their bullshit. Um, they've been deceitful to you. They've lied to you. Um, they've manipulated you and you are seeing the truth in all this and you are cutting them out of your life. For some of you, you're feeling depressed, stressful, anxious over financial issues that have um, that have come up. This is something um, you've been avoid facing this financial decision or or just kind of, you know, the bills are piling up, but you're just kind of shoving them off to the side, not trying to look at them. Um, you are going to you are going to start facing those and dealing with them, but financial success is coming to you. So you're going to be able to breathe a little easier in September. For some of you, you are forgiving somebody that really betrayed you in the past. Um, they were just trying to pretend like they never hurt you. Uh, that, that never really happened. That you were crazy for thinking that way, feeling that way. They are accepting the truth to what they did to you. And they are coming back to apologize. Um, this could be a soulmate relationship. Um, you, I do see you forgiving them and you guys starting over, wiping the slate clean and starting fresh. Um, some of you have a decision that needs to be made on what direction to go, what path to follow. Um, a lot of you are choosing just to start over. Um, you guys are coming from a good place. Uh, you're very well grounded. You're finding balance this month. You're getting a handle on your situation and you are starting to purge the people out of your life that no longer, um, deserve a place there. Uh, for some of you, you have new love coming in. For others, this is a reconciliation of a past relationship. Uh, you guys have both grown as people. You guys have both healed, both worked on yourself. And this is going to find success for you. Um, they are staying for good this time for this group of you. For some of you, you have a dream job coming in. This job is wonderful for you. It highlights all your good points. Um, it financially pays what you deserve and it's somewhere where you're going to spend many years, um, with this company. Uh, for some of you, if you're traveling, be cautious with your luggage, make sure you you keep your luggage locked. I'm seeing like somebody getting their luggage, something stolen out of their luggage. It's valuable. Make sure you keep all your valuables on you on a carry on. Just be cautious. Um, for some of you, you are getting a second chance. Um, this, this group of you, you hurt somebody else. You left somebody else. You, um, you were the one that caused the pain. They are giving you a second chance after you come clean and give them a sincere apology. Uh, <clears throat> And this comes after you rediscover yourself. You guys have been kind of um, avoiding what really happened and uh, and you feel just kind of lost without them. You are going to, uh, you're going to find yourself again and you will find yourself uh, returning to that person and 
telling the truth of what happened and apologizing. I do see them accepting your apology. Um, for some of you, you have legal issues that you're dealing with. You have court coming up. Um, I do see this ending in your favor. Um, I do see you getting what you um, are after. Yeah, justice will be served for you guys this month. Um, it will it will end with you receiving that of what you asked for. For some of you, gosh, my nose is so itchy. For some of you, uh, if you're a Leo, Sun, Taurus, Moon, or Rising, you're finding a beautiful grounding place. You are finding where you are meant to be. You're finding your spiritual center. Um, you're finding messages in your uh, meditation time. Your dreams are just popping. Make sure you're journaling your dreams uh, and your meditations so um, you can look back on them. But you guys are just, you're coming to a, a new level of ascension. You're going to be able to start hearing your angels, um, whether it be in the form of synchronicities or, or actually hearing them, seeing them, feeling them. You are um, opening up uh, your third eye right now. Um, you know who you are that I'm talking about. You could be feeling exhausted, um, just depleted because your energy is just um, being drawn so much. Just make sure you're um, eating right, exercising, um, taking care of your mind, body, and soul because this is going to um, increase in intensity. But you have to, your body has to be physically prepared for that. Yeah. That's very beautiful for you, Leos, that are dealing with this. Um, some of you, your solar plexus needs attention. Um, it's out of balance, out of whack, and uh, and you need to work on that. Um, for some of you, there is a Scorpio coming towards you. This could be a friend of yours. It's somebody you know already, but not somebody you dated. They want you bad. They want a relationship with you, and you're kind of keeping them in the friend zone. Um, you're very cautious, very leery of them. Uh, be cautious of these people. They may not have your best intention at heart. Yeah. For some of you you're starting new relationships or talking to people that you've been in a relationship before about coming back together. Um, make sure you set your boundaries, let them know exactly what you will and won't accept. Um, because these people that are coming towards you, they will take as much as they can not saying they're bad people. Cause I do see this being a positive relationship, but, um, make sure you set your boundaries. For some of you, you uh, told somebody no, and you're starting to second guess that boundary that you set. That was the right decision. This is going to bring you into a new opportunity in love. And um, this love was meant for you. This love was meant to last a lifetime. So if somebody came towards you um, wanting a relationship with you, but you told them no, don't doubt yourself. Follow your gut. Um because you know there's something odd there. <clears throat> but if you are starting a new relationship or someone with the past, make sure you know, they know your boundaries. Make sure you make them clear and stick to them. Um, some of you are... Some of you are getting messages from the 5D. These are from family members or loved ones that have passed on. They're just letting you know they're okay, um, that they're free, that they've made it. Uh, some of you have were, have been worried that that when they passed on, you didn't know where they went. They are just fine. They're trying to give you signs that that they are with you. For some of you, I see that you lost a loved one, but you don't know how they passed. They just want you to know that it happened very quickly. There was no suffering and that they made it. Um, let go of the 
thought that I have to know how it happened because unfortunately for this group of you, I don't know if you ever will. Um, but just know that they are in a much better place. They are watching over you, especially if you have a son, they're, they're very connected to your son. Um, yeah, they're, they're connected to a little boy. So they are around you all the time. They're okay. They made it and they're watching over you. So please take that, um, with you and, and maybe it'll, it'll help your heart a little bit to heal. Um, they're saying to journal your dreams. Also, your loved ones are trying to contact you through your dreams. Um, for some of you, you're in a relationship that you are just tired of trying. You're tired. You're exhausted. Um, this is with an Aries or a Cancer. Um, you just don't have any more to give. It's okay to walk away. It's okay because you're the only one putting into this relationship, trying to make it work. The other person just expects it to magically work itself out. Um, it's time for you to move on. For some of you, it's just, it's time to have a heart to heart with somebody, um, somebody that you are dealing with. This is a relationship that is going on right now, but you're having problems. Um, you could be like separated, but have a heart to heart and make sure they know what you want, what you can give and don't settle. Um, set your standards high because there is somebody out there that will exceed those standards and um, raise the bar even higher. So make sure you're not selling yourself short. September 6th and 7th is a huge day for you guys. You are getting the encourage you are getting the courage to go after something you want. This is a very powerful energy for you guys these two days. It's bringing a lot of excitement. It's removing any blocks that have been in your way. It's allowing you to move forward towards your goal. And this is something that's been weighing you down or that you've been dealing with for the last eight to nine months. Um, new things are developing in this uh, situation and it is bringing you so much excitement, so much relief, um, and it's giving you the courage to go for it. For some of you, yeah, September 9th is going to be a huge day for you guys also. Someone someone shows up for you guys unexpectedly. Um, you don't know how to deal with this. You don't know how to take this. You don't know how to feel about this. Um, yeah, it's somebody that you have not talked to in quite some time somebody you've been in a relationship with in the past and you've been waiting and hoping and wishing they'd come back. And now all of a sudden they're here at your door and you're like, you don't know what to do. Once again, follow your heart and listen to your gut. It does not lie to you. It's your angels trying to um, put you in the right path. Um, September 13th is also a big day for you guys. Good news is coming to you guys. Um, you're feeling satisfied. You're getting good news about something with your finances. It is a little delayed, but it is coming very quickly for you in the month of September. But the 13th, you're getting news about what this is. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to bring a lot of financial relief to you guys. Um, could be in the form of getting news that you got a new job. Could be a letter that, you know, you got money coming towards you. The bank made a mistake or something. It's something like that, that you are getting this um, information. Um, September 28th is also popping up. Your guys' intuition is on point this month for real. Um, you guys are going to come to a choice. Um you're going to have to choose between two things, and it's that day. You have to choose um, either A or B. Once again, follow your gut. Um, I do see you guys making the right decision, but I see a lot of hesitation and a lot of doubt with what you chose. Um, have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your decision because it is the right one for you. 
for some of you, um, you're in a third party. You need to let this situation unfold naturally. Um, this person could have made you mad and you're like, well, I'm just going to go tell so-and-so. Um, that's going to turn very ugly. Uh, try to hold back from doing that. Take a step back. Let the universe, let karma deal with it and just work on yourself. Take the higher road because this is a twin flame situation. And if you step in in that way, it's going to take even longer for this person to come back to you because they have to do it on their own time. <clears throat> My throat chakra is closing. They have to do it on their own time. They have to move in their own direction of healing at their own pace. So if you think by telling somebody it's going to hurry up the process, it won't. It'll just delay it. So um, just take a step back. End the third party. Do not, do not allow that person to keep coming back to you until you they have left that other person. Um, set your boundaries. Make it very clear to them that you deserve more than just being a third party. And you will find it out there, whether they're going to provide it to you or not. But you're no longer willing to to be the mistress, the mis mister. Is that when a guy is the third party? I don't know. If you know, comment below because that I've never. Anyways, uh, stand your ground. And this is what's going to propel them in a quicker direction. Not you going behind their back and, you know, telling all their secrets. Allow them to uh, to take care of that while you're healing on your own path. And by you putting your foot down and refusing to be that other party, they will come towards you quicker because they, they're fearful of losing you. They're scared that you're going to move on. They know you have a lot of options. So, um, like I said, take the higher road and they will be right behind you. For some of you, you're starting a new relationship. This could be with another Leo sign, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn. Take this slow. Don't rush it. Um, you're going to have forever with them. Um, but you're both coming out of relationships that uh, there was a lot of hurt and pain. So um, don't don't rush this relationship. Don't put it into super speed. Um, just enjoy every day with them. Take one day at a time and you're going to find healing in each other. Um, this person was sent to you um, as a blessing. This person is going to be there forever. So there's no no reason to rush it. Um, for those of you who are dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate that you've been in separation from for uh, for at least three years, they are coming back. They are making um, plans to move. They're transitioning. Uh, they are moving closer to you. They have not reached out to you yet. They're very fearful, um, very scared that you're going to have moved on and not want them back. But they are coming and they will be uh, reaching out to you in September letting you know they're moving and moving closer to you. Um, for those of you who are in the twin flame journey a year or less, um, they are making huge strides in this as well. Big month for um, these twins in separation. Um, they are realizing what your guys' connection is. They are realizing how much they truly love you. And they are now putting in place plans to be able to move in your direction. Uh, you could not be talking to them or it's very hit and miss. But um, the second week of September, I see them reaching out via text message or email, um, wanting to see you, wanting to talk to you, wanting to let you know where they are um, as far as in relation to you. Um, for those of you single, you are going to meet somebody the third week of September. This person is like somebody that everybody looks up to, like, um, could be like a judge, a police officer, uh, somebody of authority, a lawyer. It's in the law field. Um, all aspects. I mean, they could be a 911 dispatcher or the judge, you know, I mean, they work in a law and somebody who enforces the law, make sure the law is followed. Um, you're going to meet this person the third week of September. This is a very beautiful connection. Um, there's a magnetic draw like no other. 
Um, this is a soulmate of yours coming for you. And this is if you're single, super single, not waiting for anyone in the wings, not doing nothing. You're just single. Um, this is a soulmate coming for you. Um, this is going to be an amazing whirlwind relationship. Um, it's going to change your location. It's going to change where you're at on the map. Um, it's going to make your heart joyful again, happy. Um, some of you have been feeling really lonely lately and down and out on yourself. Um, love is coming in for you in September. So yeah, so be confident. There is somebody out there. September is just a huge month of transitioning for you guys. Your finances are improving. Your love life is popping. Um, you're standing up for what you want. You could be coming to a decision where you have conflicting feelings about what to do, where to go, how to approach it. Just follow your heart and follow your gut. Um, don't let yourself talk yourself out of a blessing. Um, you guys are really learning to appreciate the beauty and what you don't understand. You're really taking your spirituality to a beautiful level. Um, you're finding yourself. You're finding your center. Um, and that's going to allow you to find your blessings. What's meant for you will find you. So, so don't worry. Just continue to work on yourself. Continue to reach that higher spiritual knowledge. And, um, and I see September being a beautiful month for all of you guys. So um, I think that's all I have. Yeah, I think that's all the messages I have. I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Um, find that courage, find that strength to move forward and, and don't fear because there's nothing to fear out there. So I hope you guys have a wonderful September. Thank you for your continuous support of my channel. Without you, my spiritual journey would not be the same. So I send you all love, light, and may God bless your path.